डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सियोमेटिक दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड इलेवन सो वी आर हेयर विद दिस प्रॉब्लम इलेवन ऑफ योर पेपर सो लेट एस फर्स्टली हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस इज अनियर एल जेब्रा प्रॉब्लम लेट ए बी एस थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मेट्रिक्स विद ट्रेस ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड डिटर्मेंट ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू टू If one is an eigen value of a, then the eigen value of this matrix R. So now let us begin. Okay. So I will be introducing two nodes for you. I hope you already know those nodes because they are the very very basic one. What do you know? That determinant of any matrix, let us say A, is actually the product. Product of what? Product of eigen values okay and uh, trace trace of a is actually the sum of eigen values right so these are the two nodes that will be very helpful for us now see that it is given to you that trace is 3 and determinant of a is 2 so let us say that lambda 1 lambda 2 okay and lambda 3 okay lambda 3 is what it is given to you that one is an eigen value of a so i should write one is eigen value of a so these are the three eigen value of a what we need to firstly determine we need to firstly determine these two eigen values and after that we will be telling you a note for by which you can evaluate eigen values of a square minus 2 identity so this is the procedure that what we can do right now we have to firstly find out the eigen values for a and then only it will be possible for us to determine the eigen values for a square minus 2 identity right so lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the eigen values of a so according to our note 1 we will have lambda 1 dot lambda 2 is equal to 2 and according to our note 2 3 will be equal to lambda 1 plus lambda 2 now what you can actually do you can write these two equation like this uh, from from this equation what you can do you can write lambda 2 is equal to 2 by lambda 1 and if you will replace this value inside this you will get 3 is equal to lambda 1 plus 2 by lambda 1 that means you can write this equation as lambda 1 square minus 3 lambda plus 2 is equal to 0 right now if it's very easy right it's very easy to determine the uh, values eigen values from here so what you can do you can write this equation as okay sorry i made a mistake uh, it should be plus 1 also here okay uh why it should be plus 1 because you have three eigen values right in the product case we don't have to write it but in the addition case we have to write it so it it will be replaced by 2 are you getting my point or not so from here you will get 2 lambda over here okay so now just evaluate this lambda 1 and lambda 2 it's a quadratic equation you can solve it easily so lambda 1 will be 1 plus iota and lambda 2 will be 1 minus iota right so these are the two eigen values and the third eigen values for a will be a square minus uh, sorry third eigen value will be 1 so these are the three eigen values for your matrix a are you getting my point or not so it's very easy to determine these things now i will show you a note what is that note suppose px is a polynomial okay px is a polynomial let us say and lambda is eigen value of a then p lambda will be eigen value of p of a okay so this is the note that i was talking about that if px is a polynomial and lambda is an eigen value of a then p lambda will be the eigen value of pa 
so this note will be very helpful for us in this question so according to this note if i will consider my polynomial to be x square minus 2 right now what will be p of a p of a will be a square minus 2 identity right therefore what will be the eigenvalue of this p of a p lambda will be the eigenvalue are you getting my point or not it's very easy eigenvalue so p lambda will be the eigenvalue so what is lambda lambda is the eigenvalue of a so that that means we can conclude everything from here right so you have to calculate p of 1 plus i o p of 1 minus i and p of 1 okay what is p p is this polynomial so these three will be the eigenvalues of what these three will be the eigenvalues of a square minus 2i are you getting my point or not so everything i am using here is according to this note so if you will calculate it yourself you will end up with these things that uh, this minus one you will get from here you will get i think you will get two iota minus one and here you will get minus two one plus iota okay uh, you can check it yourself so from here what what are the correct options so b will be your i think b will be your correct option right b uh, okay so okay no not b d will be your correct option so now let me mark my options so d is correct b c and a are incorrect okay so let us conclude what i have done firstly i have obtained the eigenvalues for a okay i was obtaining eigenvalues for a using the two notes that i i provided you in initially that was determinant of a is product of eigenvalues and trace of a is sum of eigenvalues now i use this note that if px is a polynomial if px is a polynomial and lambda is an eigenvalue of a then p lambda will be eigenvalue of pa and using these two notes we have concluded everything okay so thank you